So what is attention? Attention is a, a very um, you know, well-studied, well-researched area of you know, psychological performance. Uh, you know, there's a great deal of interest in uh, you know, maintaining attention for training attention. You know, there are disorders you know, that involve you know, dysfunction of our ability to direct attention, uh, including attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, for example. Um, you know, and that could, of course, be argued that that has much to do with the expectations, uh, you know, in various circumstances. Um, one of the things that's really interesting about attention is, you know, of course, William James, uh, who, uh, you know, wrote the principles of psychology has a very good, you know, uh, kind of very uh, literary definition, uh, very poetic sort of definition of it. Um, he writes, you know, everyone knows what attention is. It is the taking possession by the mind in clear and vivid form of one out of what seems several simultaneously possible objects or trains of thought. You know, that implies, of course, you know, that you are enhancing, you know, uh, you know, processing, right? You're devoting more resources to some aspects of your environment while downplaying to some extent, right? By discarding uh, or, you know, ignoring others, right? Uh, he also writes, focalization, concentration of consciousness are of its essence, right? It implies a withdrawal from some things in order to deal effectively with others. And one of the, you know, most, you know, salient aspects of attention, you know, as a cognitive process, right, is that there are multiple forms. It's like memory. There's more multiple forms of memory, right? Um, and we can talk, for example, about orienting. You know, like if something were to explode over there and, you know, I would whip my head around and stare in that direction. You know, that's, that's, that's sort of um, bottom-up, you know, drawing of attention. It's often called exogenous attention. You're, you're being drawn by something outside, exo, you, right? So exogenous attention versus like, um, you know, executive attention. Like I am going to, you know, pick up this brain, you know, and point to some of the regions that we're going to learn are involved in, you know, directing our executive attention. This is sometimes called selective attention. Oftentimes you'll hear researchers talk about task positive activities or, you know, the networks in the brain that are involved in, you know, that they're called task positive networks. Oftentimes that that's relating to, you know, the, the regions of the brain that are functioning, you know, collectively, you know, as a network to, to uh, allow us to direct, you know, where we would like to enhance, you know, processing, right? Um, and you can do this, of course, in different modalities, right? Like visual attention, right? Visual selective attention or executive attention. Uh, you could have auditory attention. You could listen more to something coming from one ear than the other, for example. Um, and then even within each of these modalities, for example, if you're talking about visual selective attention, you know, you could be looking for the red objects, or the, the circular objects, right? So it could be the shape or the color or the location, the spatial location of something. You can attend to specific spatial locations, right? And then if you apply your selective, you know, sort of executive attention, you know, persistently, you know, over a long period of time, you end up like Edward Gorey's The Yawful, right? The Yawful who stares and stares and stares and stares and stares and stares and stares. This is sustained executive attention, and it's actually a rather, you know, critical and important skill. For example, for air traffic controllers or you know long distance drivers, um, you know things like that. That you need to, um, you know, direct attention over a long period of time, and that can be very, you know, exhausting, right? Um, and uh, taxing and effortful. Um, and there's a lot of research in this area, obviously, because we want, you know. People to be able to, you know, maintain vigilance, uh, and so there have been a lot of, uh, for example, uh, pharmaceutical interventions, uh, and also, you know, on a on probably a, a healthier note, you know, uh, restrictions on the number of hours, you know, that somebody in those kinds of positions uh, are permitted uh, to work at a stretch. So anyway, we're going to be. I want you guys also to think about, you know, how you might define attention. What do you think of William James's quote? What do you think about this? you know, division, you know, in terms of different forms of attention. And we'll talk more about this.